Hello everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at how to use textures with Arnold shaders. And so far we've been using only colors at this point. And I'm going to switch to the shop context and take a look at the shaders that we have uh, currently. So right now we're using a uh, this shader called Arnold Standards. And uh, if you take a look at the UI you can see there is no inputs for connecting textures and you can only um, uh, input values or colors, uh, float and, and colors basically. And we need something different uh, to be able to read textures. But before I do that, I want to make sure that my mesh has uh, some, some UVs in it. So I'm going to switch to the object context and I'm going to dive inside the uh, tank. And if I middle click at the input, at the file read for the tank, I should see uh, a vertex attribute named UV. This is what uh, Houdini and Arnold will, will use uh, to assign, to know how to assign uh, map textures to the surface. And I'm going to switch back to the shop. And what we need to use is as a different node to be able to create um, something that has texture inputs. And if I hit, press the tab key, and go to the Arnold tab, you can see there is a variety of shaders here. And the one we're going to use now is called Arnold Shader Network. And I'm going to click to create this node. And this node will allow us to create custom networks. And I'm going to rename it tank with textures. And if I double click now, it will take me inside this node. So it's a, a, a sub network. And I'm going to double click and you can see the path has changed and we're now inside this node. And you can see there is this out underscore material that has four inputs. And the one we're interested in at this point is the surface. And what we need to do first is we need to connect the shader, the Arnold shader to it. And we can hit the tab key, and this will give us uh, menus to create all the nodes that comes with the Arnold plugin. And the one we're, uh, we're interested in lives under the shading menu, and it's called standard. And I'm going to click the output and grab the RGB and connect it to the surface. And this node, if you select it and look at the UI, it's exactly the same node that we had before. And what this node is actually doing, it has an, uh, it's a network and it has a node inside. And this UI is just exposing the attributes that are inside this node. Uh, so I'm going to dive back in. And if I click the expand button, you can see that we have access now to all the inputs and we can connect our own custom inputs. But before we start doing that, I would like to assign this shader to the, to the mesh to replace this one and make sure that everything works. So I'm going to switch back to the object and I'm going to dive inside and select the material node and change to tank with texture. And I'm going to hit render. And this should um, make the tank render white at this point. Cool. So I'm going to uh, cancel. And I'm going to go back to the shader. And I can use this uh, shortcut here to take me back to the network. And I'm going to dive inside. So what we need to do is we need to connect um, uh, something for the color. And if you hop over the diffuse uh, color here, you can see it's called KD underscore color. And it's this one here. KD underscore color. And the node we are going to create is called image. So if I hit tab and type in image, you can create an image node. And with this one, uh, it's going to ask us for the file name. So I'm going to hit the browse button and I'm going to assign the diffuse texture. And I'm going to simply grab the RGBA output and connect it to the KD. And now if I hit render, we should see a texture uh, assigned to the to the tank instead of the instead of the white color. And you can see now we have some texture information, which is great. Cool. So the next thing I want to do is I want to drive, I want to read something for the, um, uh, I want to read a texture and drive the specular. And for the specular, the one I'm interested in is not the color. I want to keep the color white and I want to drive the intensity of the specular. I want to vary that across the surface. So I'm going to create another image node and I'm going to browse uh, for my text for my specular texture, and I'm going to connect it to the KS. And in this case, I don't have uh, I can connect it, but you can see it's uh, it's giving me this dotted line, and because this um, 
this input here is a float, so you can simply grab the red channel in this case because it's a it's a black and white image, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. And then uh, we're going to turn on Fresnel because I want some Fresnel, and let's hit render now. And we should see uh, some specular being added because it's been driven uh, via map now. Cool. So now we have. Uh, a texture driving the diffuse and a texture driving the specular. And the last thing I want to add is uh, the a bump node. And I'm going to cancel this. And if I go back here and select this node, you can see there is no inputs for any bump. And so this, this one basically allows you to uh, create things that have colors and very basic shaders. And if you want to uh, use textures and create your own custom. We have to use the custom, uh, the Arnold Shader Network. And uh, to create the bump, we're going to first create a new image node and read in the image, the bump image. So this one. And to connect it to the bump, we we want to use a a different node uh, that plugs into this input. So far, we've used the surface, which has the Arnold Shader. The, uh, the standard shader and for the bump we want to use a note called bump 2d so if I hit tab and type in bump it's gonna um, uh, filter the nodes and I have access to the bump node so I'm going to connect my out output into the bump map and then the RGBA into the bump and now if I set this height to 0.1 and hit render we should see a, a change in the result and we should get some bump in the tank. As you can see now we have a very strong bump and if we switch to the uh, direct specular we will see that we have uh, a lot of bump happening. It's more visible in here and uh, I'm going to simply lower the value to 0 0.01 and now we should have something more reasonable. So this is pretty much it. We uh, to create something uh, with textures, we create a uh, Arnold shader network and uh, dive inside, create the Arnold standard shader and connect that to the surface. And then we have um, uh, an image uh, an image node that we can use to uh, drive any of the inputs uh, that we have available for us in the Arnold shader. And for the bump, we simply use a bump 2D node to be able to control the height of the, uh, of the bump map that has been applied to the to the geometry and i think that's pretty much it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye bye